Tyler, can you tell us what your performance in last week's game meant to the team? You had two touchdown catches and a 90-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. I felt like I gave my team the momentum we needed because Angleton was a very tough team. Our defense had trouble stopping them, but toward the end of the game, we almost had them. But I just felt like we overall did a good job of just fighting and not letting up and playing as a team. How do you think big plays can change the momentum of the game? And do you think that you've changed the momentum of last Friday night's game? Yes, because my kick return, I feel like we needed that in a big way because we gave up too many points on too many points early that really put us where we was in the hall. So for me to do that, I feel like my team needed that type of energy to get back in the game. What do you think about the upcoming game this Friday on the road against Calhoun? I feel like it's going to be a tough game, but if we practice hard this week, go over what we need to, and do everything 100%, we should come out with a W. What do you think you'll have to do as an offense to come home victorious? Um, limit the other team's possessions by keeping our defense off the field so they won't be tired because Calhoun loves to run the clock out while they're on offense, so we need to have steady drives, and every drive we have to put up points. Isaiah, you had a big game on defense last Friday night. 11 tackles, two tackles for losses, two sacks, and an interception. What do you think are your strengths in the trenches, and how can you help your defensive uh, your defense this week against Calhoun's style of run game? Uh, well, first of all, my strengths, I feel like I have a great motor. I feel like in every play I do, I'm going to just go at it 100%. And also, I'm very aggressive, and my hands can really help me out. And if our defense, I think if I could really help out if I just tackle, if we just tackle a lot, because they uh, we, we know what they're going to do, just basically if we're going to stop them just by tackling them. Last Friday night, you had an interception, and defensive ends do not usually get interceptions. So can you take us through that play and what happened? Uh, well, basically, I, uh, I thought it was a run play at first, and I saw the QB backing up to pass it, so I went up. Uh, I first bull rushed the tackle, and then when I saw him throw it, I tried to time it. I tried to swat it, so when I jumped up, it just hit my chest, and I just put both my hands on my chest, and just, I just caught it. This Friday night, Calhoun can pose a huge challenge to your defense. This is your third year facing them. Uh, can you tell us what you're going to do as a defense to minimize them? Uh, if we just play assignment football, because we're assigned to tackle the right person, if we just tackle the right person and make sure we wrap up and make sure they don't break any of our tackles, we'll be good. Coach Jones, how did you come up with the idea for the Spartan Blitz? Uh, I watch a lot of interviews on football on Saturdays, college games and stuff, so I see how they do their interviews and I wanted to do something that you know we could use and utilize here at Stafford. So how do you want to expand the Spartan Blitz going forward? Well basically what we want to do is provide opportunities for the uh, department here at Stafford, the audiovisual department and also to prepare our athletes to be in front of the camera and talk to uh, the press. Um, but I like to expand it where, you know, we can do uh, spotlights on different athletes and kind of find out more about the athlete. You know, a lot of times um, you see athletes on the field and you don't know what they really like. So I think, you know, we could do some things with Spartan Blitz where we can spotlight certain athletes and kind of take it to a more personal level where you don't know, we can find more about them personally than just being, at the, being an athlete.